Hello guys, this is Salman from Bench Design. Today we will learn how we can blend two images in Photoshop. So let's get started. Now first what we will do is we will open our background file. And in this image we don't have to do anything. Now we will select the second image. The easiest step that I like to prefer is instead of drag and drop, I just copy this layer by pressing command plus C or control plus C if you are a Windows user. And paste it here just like this you just have to do is command plus V or control plus V if you are a Windows user now select the move tool and make sure that layer 1 is selected bring it down to the bottom of it let's just make it a bit smaller so we see that it's working that it's right at the bottom okay correct it seems to be fine now what you will do is we are going to select a quick selection tool select our subject that is this girl and make it into a layer mask let's see how we can do this so let's just now you don't have to go into a lot of details when you're selecting this because eventually we will be blending this along with the water so now that this is almost done We'll just cut off the areas that we do not want and now that it's selected what we will do is we will click on the layer mask that's it now you see it has been selected now what we will do is we will keep this as it is make a coffee copy of it by pressing command plus j or control plus j if you are a windows user go back to the layer at the bottom select the layer mask and then select the brush tool make sure that the hardness is zero that is the soft brush that you can select and the color has to be white and start painting over the mask and you will see that all the details that we have lost it starts to come back to life let me just make it a bit bigger Honestly, it's it's really, really, really simple. Now, let me just make it till the end of it. So it seems like there is water ahead. Just like this. Okay. Now, we will change the blend mode of this layer from normal to overlay okay so now that there is water you can either go with overlay that darkens the, the road or you can choose heartland that still shows the water I would prefer overlay okay now that this is done one thing that I usually do with all my files is I select the layer again the brush tool is selected already we have the color black as our foreground and just brush it on edges of our image okay and now this layer we will change the blend mode from normal to overlay mm, let's just see how it looks let's just remove it I don't think I'm not gonna like it now you're going to press command plus G or control plus G if you are a Windows user. It selects both the, uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Now what we will do is we'll press shift and press both the layers and then press command plus G or control plus G if you are a Windows user and it will put them into a group. Now we will name it subject. Okay. Now we will click here and select the hue and saturation layer make sure that it's uh, presets to default and we will adjust the hue to about 10 percent and decrease the saturation to about to me i think there it works okay make sure that it's deselected the colorize option because if you click on it what, whatever color grading that you have done it will imply on all your layers but if you do not click on this it will 
just adjust few of the colors okay now that we have done hue and saturation the best thing that I usually do for for color grading I go for color look up here and I use I like uh, crisp winter is nice it gives a very warm feeling and then or night from this one or this one's a bit too hard so you can just play around with it this one also gives a very good feeling to it tension green as you can see nice late sunset beautiful okay but the border is not really visible here so as I, as I said you can just play around with it see what suits your preferences or candlelight cube this one's also nice the color grading seems to be perfect i like it let's just see if you change the turn mode from normal to oh my god it's it looks really great but we will keep it to normal okay now the now what we can do is you can try you click on this option make the brush smaller select the first layer and paint over it to make the water look more visible just like this and this one do the same thing but since it's overlay it just darkens the remaining area Yes, so that's about it. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next one.